Barbara Hutton, one of the wealthiest women of her time, was as famous for her lavish lifestyle as she was for her impressive collection of jewellery. She was the only child of Franklin Laws Hutton, a successful businessman, and Edna Woolworth, the daughter of the founder of the Woolworth chain of stores. From an early age, Barbara Hutton was accustomed to a life of luxury and privilege. Over the years, she amassed a collection that was both vast and legendary, encompassing rare and historically significant pieces. One of the most talked about pieces in her collection was the Pasha Diamond, a remarkable gem of over 40 carats. Another notable piece was the Marie Antoinette Pearl Necklace, a stunning array of natural pearls once owned by the ill-fated French Queen. Let's delve deeper into some of the most remarkable pieces that adorned her collection, each with its own story of luxury, history, and sometimes intrigue. The Pasha Diamond Ring The Pasha Diamond is particularly notable for its size, beauty, and the mystery surrounding its origins. It is named Pasha because it was believed to have been owned by a Pasha of Egypt, which adds an exotic allure and a touch of historical mystique to its story. Originally, the Pasha diamond was considered one of the finest gems in the Egyptian treasury, boasting 40 carats in an octagonal form. Its origins are speculated to be either Brazil or India, but the exact details remain unknown. The diamond is known for its colorless brilliance and its substantial size. In the 1940s, Barbara Hutton purchased the Pasha Diamond from King Farouk of Egypt. However, disliking its original octagonal shape, Hutton had it recut into a 36 carat round brilliant diamond. This decision marked the transformation of the Pasha from its historic octagonal form to the round brilliance that Hutton preferred. As for the current whereabouts of the Pasha Diamond, like many historic jewels, it's difficult to trace. After Hutton's death in 1979, her jewellery was auctioned off, and pieces from her collection have since passed through private collections and auctions. The specific details about the current owner of the Pasha Diamond are not publicly known, as transactions involving such high-value items are often private. This makes the current location and ownership of the Pasha Diamond something of a mystery, adding to its allure and the fascination surrounding Barbara Hutton's legendary collection, the Marie Antoinette Pearl Necklace. Perhaps one of the most historically significant pieces in Hutton's collection was the Marie Antoinette Pearl Necklace. Marie Antoinette the Queen of France, known for her extravagance and eventual grim fate during the French Revolution, was a lover of pearls and diamonds, and her collection included some of the most spectacular pieces of the time. Pearls, in particular, were highly prized in the 18th century for their natural beauty and rarity, symbolizing purity, wealth, and social status. The single-strand pearl necklace, believed to have belonged to Marie Antoinette, was purchased by Hutton from Cartier's of New York in anticipation of her 1933 wedding to Alexis Medivani. The necklace, composed of 44 natural oriental pearls, became a notable part of her extensive jewellery collection, which also featured pieces such as Catherine the Great's emerald necklace and Queen Amélie of Portugal's ruby necklace. Centuries later, this historical pearl necklace found its way into the hands of Barbara Hutton, a figure synonymous with wealth, tragedy, and the golden age of American aristocracy. Hutton, often dubbed the poor little rich girl, had a life marked by both opulent luxury and deep personal sorrows. The journey of the necklace from Marie Antoinette to Barbara Hutton is a testament to the enduring allure of fine jewellery and its ability to transcend time and history. After the French Revolution, much of Marie Antoinette's jewellery was dispersed. The necklace presumably passed through various hands before being acquired by Hutton, adding layers of history and mystery to its story. This necklace came up for auction in May 1992 at Christie's in Geneva, signalling its first public offering. Despite an initial estimate of $250,000 to $350,000, the necklace sold 
for $580,000, far exceeding expectations and underscoring the demand for genuine natural pearls of ancient historic provenance. In November 1999, the necklace was auctioned again, this time fetching $1.47 million, setting a world record for a natural pearl necklace at auction. Emerald Tiara The Emerald Tiara was created by the renowned jewellery house Van Cleef and Arpels. Barbara Hutton ordered it in the 1940s, a period when she was one of the most celebrated figures in high society and known for her extravagant taste. The tiara is particularly notable for its centerpiece, a remarkable Colombian emerald weighing over 150 carats. This emerald was originally part of a necklace that belonged to a Maharaja, showcasing the tiara's connections to royalty and Hutton's penchant for collecting jewellery with a noble pedigree. Hutton was known for her generous gifts, and the emerald tiara was no exception. In a gesture that captured international attention, she gifted it to her only son, Lance Reventlow, to give to his first wife, actress Jill St. John, Jadeite bead necklace. The necklace itself is composed of 27 graduated Jadeite beads of exceptional quality and color. Jadeite, a gemstone prized for its vibrant green hues and translucency, is considered to be one of the most valuable and sought-after types of jade. The beads, unusually large in diameter, were a testament to the rarity and quality of the Jadeite used. Some experts believe the necklace originated from the Qing Dynasty Imperial Court in China, adding to its illustrious history. The beads of the necklace are perfectly matched, which is an extraordinary feat considering the natural variations in Jadeite. Barbara Hutton received the necklace as a gift in the 1930s, a time when she was one of the most prominent figures in high society, known for her lavish parties and her passion for exquisite jewellery. Throughout her life, Hutton was known for her philanthropic efforts and her contributions to various causes. Despite her wealth and the luxury that surrounded her, she faced personal struggles and sought solace in her collection of fine art and jewellery. The Jadeite bead necklace, in particular, remained one of her most cherished possessions, a symbol of beauty and elegance in a life marked by both opulence and adversity. In 2014, the Hutton Madivani Jadeite necklace came up for auction at Sotheby's Hong Kong. A fierce bidding war erupted, with the final price reaching a staggering $27.44 million. This surpassed all pre-sale estimates and set a world record for the highest price ever paid for a Jadeite jewel. After Barbara Hutton's death in 1979, her vast jewellery collection, including the Pasha Diamond, was auctioned off and the pieces dispersed to various owners around the world. She was renowned for her extravagant jewellery collection, one of the most impressive in the world. Her collection reflected her tumultuous life, filled with both opulence and personal challenges, showcasing her love for the extraordinary and beautiful. Which jewellery of Barbara Hutton's jewellery collection do you impress the most? Are you waiting for the video part 2 of her collection? Please comment on the below. Do not forget to like and subscribe.